Hello, dearest Vibra Angels and Frequenciers. Welcome to the uh, Facebook live feed. And our topic today is Tantra Mantra and Chakra Toning, which covers a lot of uh, interesting material, but uh, we'll get to what we can today. And uh, today, following this Facebook live broadcast, I will be doing a nationwide teleseminar that's free and uh, I'll be giving you that information you can uh, access it on my website wayneperry.com if you'd like to join teleseminar and you can ask questions and get your questions answered I do this on the second Tuesday of every month and uh, many of you may not be aware of it that you can dial in from anywhere in the country anywhere in the world and just uh, type in the uh, free access code and you'll be tuned in to the uh, sound healing teleseminar so that will be directly following this broadcast we'll be here on Facebook live talking about uh, Tantra Mantra and Chakra Toning and then uh, if you have questions or you want to talk with me live feel free to uh, just tune in to the uh, broadcast uh, on the teleseminar and I'll give you that information at the end of the session. You can also access it at wayneperry.com. So with Tantra Mantra, the first thing I want to clarify, and I'm going to share with you towards the end of this broadcast, a, uh, a Tantra Mantra Chakra chant that uh, I'll teach you. It's pretty easy. It just takes a couple of minutes to do, and you'll, you'll find it fun. Um, it's in my book, and it's uh, we do it regularly in my workshops and uh, open houses and things like that so I'll show you that but the first thing I wanted to talk about is the word Tantra many people associate automatically the word Tantra with uh, sex and sexual activity and I want to clarify that that Tantra really has nothing to do with sex uh, sex is a part of Tantra but Tantra isn't a part of sex so let's clarify that. Tantra simply means lifting energy, moving energy, uh, lifting it up, inward and upward, and that's the essence of Tantra. Now one of the ways you can uh, utilize that is through the sexual experience that most of us are familiar with and how you can raise your energy. And uh, I do a um, sound relationship workshop and a chakra toning workshop it's actually coming up this Sunday in Los Angeles. So we are used to working with these uh, principles, but first of all, I wanted to explain that uh, Tantra is simply lifting energy, moving energy, bringing it inwards and upwards. And so we do this in all of our workshops because that's really the essence of toning and sonic meditation we, uh, that we do in uh, pretty much all the workshops is concentrate on bringing our attention up to the um, third eye center, uh, just above and behind the physical eyes. And so if you concentrate your attention there and you meditate, uh, those meditators out there, you'll get uh, a lot of, uh, you know, relaxation, relief from tension and stress. But if you're a regular meditator, you can also access deeper and higher levels of consciousness with uh, practice and focus. And so, uh, and then when you incorporate toning either before and or during your meditation, that's what I refer to as sonic meditation. So one of the things that will really help your meditation, if you have any difficulty in your, you know, concentration, keeping the mind uh, still, is that you can just uh, tone, uh, you can use this little, um, Ch mantra chakra chant that I'm going to show you later or any kind of toning uh, before your meditation and you'll be more concentrated you'll have a more effective uh, meditation if you use sound and toning uh, first and uh, there are some of our meditations sonic meditations that will with guided visualization that can help support you visually and we can uh, uh, maybe do some of that in the future I'm going to be hosting some webinars in the near future, so keep an eye out for that. We could explore some of these exercises a little more easily. 
And of course, if you're in the Los Angeles area, every other Sunday we have our sound healing workshop, which is also a training program. You can do one or two workshops, or you can really, uh, if you're interested in using sound healing professionally or as an adjunct to your career as a healer, or you're interested in exploring um, sound healing as a professional endeavor, you know, this, uh, you know, workshop can be very insightful and interesting and expensive. If you're in the area, uh, it's every other Sunday. We have one coming up this Sunday. But getting back to our topic of uh, Tantra, we want to move energy inward and upward. And we want to focus on also the, the chakras. And so as you focus on the chakras, uh, the energy you can lift up and you can clear and concentrate the energy at each chakra. You know, you've got the first chakra at the base of the spine. Specifically, it's between the um, coccyx bone and the anus. The is the specific location of the first chakra. And so you want to focus there and do some toning and do some concentration there to uh, develop your energies at the first chakra level. And then if you want to raise it above the first chakra, which is basically uh, the physical area of the body, the physical chakras, the circulatory system, and dealing with uh, our um, survival issues, self-power issues, some of these things. But the overall physical um, energy is ruled at the first chakra point. And the second chakra, which is a couple inches below the navel, the belly button is the sacral chakra and this deals with more emotions and it's thought to be the um, energy the sexual energy reproductive energy the second chakra and so we're going to do we're going to do some vowel tones for each of these uh, chakras we move up to the third chakra we have uh, that's just a couple of inches above the navel in the solar plexus that's the solar plexus chakra, and that focuses on the self, willpower, you know, self-discipline, all the areas of self uh, generating and building, uh, self-awareness, self-esteem, these kinds of things are located at the third chakra. So I'm going to uh, show you how to use a particular vowel sound for each chakra so that you can move through this little chakra chant. Uh, mantra and then I'm going to show you and so as you go through the third chakra the next chakra is kind of known as the switching station it's the center of the body the center of the chakras it's the heart chakra in the center of the sternum not the actual physical heart but in the center of the chest the center of the sternum we focus the energy and you can um, focus in that area for your healing energy and of course, love, compassion, caring. This is a central point. A lot of times when we do work, we'll, we might not start at the first chakra. We might start at the heart chakra to open up the heart and the emotions. And it's a good place for certain exercises to start with the heart chakra. Others work best starting if you're going to do a full chakra toning or this little chakra chant I'm going to show you. You can... Um, uh, start at the first chakra and just work your way up through all the chakras. And keep in mind, you can work with any chakra individually. If you have issues with something uh, blocking your output of love and caring and compassion and healing, uh, then maybe just focus on the heart chakra and do some toning and uh, energy work at the heart chakra. Uh, and you can go to any specific chakra. You know, as we go to the fifth chakra, which is in the throat center, at the center of the throat here, um, that chakra rules our communication, our speaking and hearing, and our, also our creativity. So if you have uh, blockages in uh, your creative, if you have a you know, creator's block, uh, like writing block or something like that, or any obstruction of communication. If there's something you're withholding uh, to someone in your life that's important, you're withholding your feelings or communication, uh, it, you can work with the fifth chakra to strengthen and develop your uh, communication skills and your creativity by working with the fifth chakra. 
you know, these chakras are energy vortexes within the body. They're not physical things. They're energy vortexes that spiral through our physical body. So they can be helpful at uh, balancing our energies, integrating a lot of our energies, the masculine, feminine, the positive, negative polarities in the body, the left and right brain hemispheres. A lot of these things can be helped by, you know, aligning and balancing the chakras. So, like I said, the fifth chakra rules are creativity, communication, self-expression. And so if, if you're having difficulty communicating something to someone, you might want to focus on the fifth chakra of communication. But make sure your heart is open. That's why I suggest, you know, starting uh, sometimes at the fourth chakra, make sure that our, our heart is open and we're in touch with our healing energy and an open heart. These are vital um prerequisites, you could say, to uh, uh, both balancing the chakras and getting the full power of using these chakras for our upliftment and our meditation or for helping others or whatever we, we choose to do. So uh, if you want to just run through all the chakras, start at the first chakra like we're going to do with this uh, chanting uh, mantra and chakra chant and um, in a few minutes. And you can uh, also work with the chakras individually if you have any particular issues that are related to any particular chakra. So moving up from the uh, uh, fifth chakra in the throat, we're going to move up to the sixth chakra, which is at the third eye center, uh, the pineal gland, just above and behind the physical eyes, where the pineal gland is located. And that's also referred to as uh, the 10th door in spiritual literature. And for those interested in, you know, conscious uh, meditation, transcendental meditation, and in opening the third eye or the 10th door, it's referred to in Sanskrit as Tisratil. Uh, the 10th door is the 10th door. It's the, it's the only aperture in the body that leads inwards and upwards. All the other... Uh, apertures of the body, the eyes, ears, nose, and the two lower apertures, the, our energy is directed downward, sort of, uh, you could say, anti-tantra, anti, uh, <laughs> because it's taking us down and out into the outer world. And the down and outward tendency of the mind and the down and outward tendency of the lower apertures causes us to generally be ruled by the senses and the objects of sense and the soul is kind of held captive that's why this work is so important if you want to free up the soul if you want to free up your consciousness and explore the inner worlds that exist within all of us as it says in popular scriptures the kingdom of heaven is within you well that is literally true the kingdom of heaven all that is is within your physical body in fact, the whole physical universe is within your physical body. Some people have a hard time grasping that as they have difficulty sometimes with the information coming out of the new physics that everything is energy. And those words could be sub substituted with sound, vibration, frequency, pulsation, as well as energy. It's still sound. We may not hear the sound. Keep in mind that sound is oftentimes below the hearing range of uh, 15 or 16 hertz or cycles per second. That would be subsonic sounds. And then there's a lot of sound above the frequency range, which in humans generally ends around 20,000 cycles per second. So that's our hearing bandwidth from about 15 hertz to about 20,000 hertz. In fact, after we're 19 or 20 years old, we lose some of the upper end of our hearing and it may go down from 20,000 to about 18,000 hertz. But it's plenty of bandwidth to hear the normal day in and day out experiences of our life. But if you want to tune in to the inner sound, it would be helpful to develop your uh, tantric energy to raise your energy through the chakras and through meditation and through toning and sound. And the keys of, uh, of all, the the real trinity within is sound, light, and love. That's sort of like the common base of operations. You know, you can reduce everything to sound, light, and love. Uh, sort of like a little pyramid of awareness of what where our 
consciousness comes from within the body. And God works through us through these principles of sound, light, and love. As they say, God is love. Well, this is true. And God is within everyone's heart. You have love in your heart. And you have the drop of that infinite ocean of God within you, within the body, as well as many, many other levels of consciousness, many other um, uh, levels that we can tune into. The astral consciousness is within. We have an astral body that functions within the emotional world and it's rooted within your consciousness that you can access through meditation and access the astral consciousness which is uh, within us and there's tremendous beauty and worlds of sound light and love within the astral world and then we can go beyond the astral to the causal which is the root and source of mental energies and psychological energies is rooted in the causal um, realm and causal awareness within the body and then we can go deeper within the causal to the spiritual and the spiritual is the only infinite frequency and that's that uh, living uh, lord within the body that lies within every human being that we can potentially access if we discipline the mind and emotions to concentrate our energy and use sound and meditation to uh, tune in to that sacred sound current that again lies within every human being that sacred sound current is sort of our pathway back to the Lord in consciousness and that's the only thing that separates us uh, from animals is we have the ability to have God realization while in resident in the physical human body if we take the time if it becomes a priority to practice tantric exercises and to practice um, toning and utilizing sound light and love in an inner capacity this is sort of the uh, the basis of our, our being is getting in touch with our innate sound light and love because on the inner levels of consciousness we you know all the other perceptions of the body understanding and and thinking and logic and reason and even intuition all these things could be under the classification of sound light and love because if you want to narrow it down to the bottom line to the lowest common denominator which is actually the highest common denominator from a spiritual perspective it's just sound light and love everything comes from from that source I mean if you really wanted to be exact and picky about it you could say it's just love it's all about love but it's sometimes hard to understand spiritual love without a reference point we of course understand the human love you know, motherly love romantic love love of our children and friends and family and that sort of thing but when it comes to spiritual love that's something that we have to develop with these uh, tantric principles of using energy of lifting our awareness and our consciousness through uh, sound and meditation and so we let's see we left off at the sixth chakra which is the doorway is the only portal that goes inward and upward all the other lower nine apertures as I said earlier forces our direction of attention to be pulled downward and outward through the body and through the senses and through the objects of sense thereby kind of imprisoning the soul in this kind of uh, configuration where the soul is kind of overrun by the mind logic and reason and generally tries to put the concept of spirituality and God into a finite base but we have to remember that the mind is finite and when we put God and love and this sort of thing uh, in that context it's sort of like putting the ocean in a teacup it's not really possible in order to truly access these higher frequencies that are within the body we have to focus our attention to meditate and turn within to this tenth door the third eye that's in, within the pineal gland in the physical body but that's our access point that's the doorway that takes our energy inward and upward so we have to shut off those lower chakras and those lower doors of awareness that go down through the uh, lower nine apertures of the body and focus on the tenth door 
the tenth aperture, Tisritil, uh, that is referred to in Sanskrit as the inner door, the door within that lies right here. So if you practice your meditation and use your toning and energy tantrically to lift your energy up to the third eye and concentrate there, meditate there, you can eventually uh, open that door. It's kind of scary at first and as it begins to open, it will sometimes shut very quickly and but you have this burst of energy that you know something's going on there and if you stick with it you can keep it open and it will eventually stay open and you can uh, start to explore the inner worlds the astral the causal and eventually the spiritual now most people when they refer to spiritual experiences are not necessarily having real true spiritual experiences they are usually having astral experiences and occasionally if they go deep enough, they might be experiencing causal experiences. But spiritual experiences are something that we don't really experience until we're ready. It takes a lot of energy and a lot of consciousness. I mean, they talk in, in spiritual uh, teachings and scriptures from the East that there's the light of 16 suns within the human body. Now, this is a quote, a Sanskrit quote, that translates to English as the light of 16 literal suns. Now we can't even look at one sun without damaging the retina of our eyes. To, you know, uh, if we stare or look with uh, open eyes without uh, UV protection or whatever, you know, we can damage our eyes. So imagine the light of 16 suns or greater. That's the kind of light that exists within the body. And likewise, the sound that exists in these inner regions within is is you know phenomenal sound like multiple celestial choirs there's really nothing in this plane of consciousness to kind of explain describe or define the inner workings of, of sound and frequency but if you take the journey step by step you'll experience it for yourself it's a path of experience not a path of blind faith it takes a certain amount of faith to build up your energy and momentum but satisfy your intellect. Read books on, on energy and on chakras and on sound healing and on um, tantra and these kinds of things to gradually they connect the dots and you'll understand the importance of meditation, the importance of using sound and toning and ultimately to access the sacred sound current within. It's referred to as many different things in um, uh, in the East, in yoga, it's referred to as the uh, um, highest form of yoga, Shabad yoga, Nad yoga, that relates to sound. Nad and Shabad translate to sound or song. In the spiritual sense, it relates to the sound of the sacred sound current that's within the body. Uh, when it, uh, it gets translated into English, there are those that have referred to this uh, sacred sound current as the audible life stream because that's also what it is it's an uh, audible it's something that we can hear uh, with the body and uh, actually we can hear beyond the body uh, i should digress here to explain that when i talk about sound light and love is all there is you know it's at the bottom line level it's also referring to the ability of the soul, the consciousness of the soul itself to hear and see independent of the physical ears and the physical eyes. And this can be a difficult concept to understand because it's another spiritual and tantric principle, raising our energy and our consciousness to that awareness. Once we are able to leave the body and move into spiritual realms, we have the capacity to hear with the soul and without ears and we can see with the soul what this is referred to in sanskrit the ability to see light and to see within consciousness without the physical eyes is referred to in sanskrit and eastern literature as the nirat nirat is spelled n-i-r-a-t uh, nirat, as it's pronounced, nirat, N-I-R-A-T, is, if there was an English, an American word, I would use it, but I don't know of one. If anybody knows of one, please let me know or send it to me because it might be easier for people to understand. But right now, the nirat is 
the way of accessing the um, visual capacity of the soul. And then there's the auditory capacity of the soul, again, independent of the ears, that's referred to as the surat. That's spelled S-U-R-A-T. The surat is the capacity of the soul to perceive and hear sound independent of physical ears. So you don't have to be worried about leaving their body. Some people are so attached to the body or so attached to fear that they can't let go of the senses, or they can't let go of their body and trust to, to travel within. This is why it's important to really have a spiritual mentor or teacher to guide you. But because they're just like there's wonderful, blissful things that lie within these inner regions, there's also dangers and it's also scary. There's a negative energy that lies within. And if you keep your, um, your spiritual awareness and God in mind and you uh, ask for protection, it's always there. So I always tell people to use the sound invocation or create your own invocation to access these energies. So um, we left off at the sixth chakra. Before we go to the seventh chakra, well, let me finish up with the seventh chakra, which is in the crown of the head. Most people are familiar with the seven chakras, so that's what I use as the seven chakras. Technically, really, the seventh is the first of the inner chakras. Uh, and it's not above the crown of the head, which is where one might focus to access that. It, it's again within the third eye, but to really properly access the seventh chakra, you need to open the sixth chakra first. You need to open the third eye and open the tenth door and, able to, and to enable yourself to fully access the seventh chakra or these inner worlds. So those are the seven chakra points. And the sixth chakra relates to our higher awareness, our intuition, our higher purpose, that the inner prompting that leads us to even want to meditate or tone or do sonic meditation or tantric practices. Um, that's all related to the sixth chakra. The seventh chakra is just the awareness that comes when the sixth chakra is open and you start to tune in. Uh, to deeper and deeper levels of consciousness. So let me go back uh, to the six chakra point I was, uh, as I was talking about um, accessing these energies and using sound, light, and love. And before we, ask, we access the, the nirat and the surat to perceive sound and light, we need to start with our bodies. We need to be in touch with our bodies enough to go through these uh, chakras and to bring our attention to raise it tantrically up to the third eye and be patient and devoted and we'll eventually be able to uh, open up that energy and rise you know within into greater levels of consciousness so this little presentation has kind of turned into a bit of a metaphysical approach to this that hopefully you're um, open to the the um, you know spiritual principles and the metaphysical aspects of, of some of this work you know some of it is very practical with sound healing it just has to do with really uh, using sound and energy to uh, free up the body from pain we have pain release exercises we have chakra balancing exercises we have uh, clearing of body toxicity there's all sorts of things you can do to heal disease. Uh, there's all sorts of wonderful benefits from sound therapy and vibrational healing and really using toning to activate regenerative sound. I've talked in some of our previous uh, videos on Facebook Live about uh, energy medicine and regenerative sound, sound relationships. Uh, if you've missed some of the earlier videos, there's I think five of them you can access on my timeline and Facebook. Just go to Wayne Perry and scroll down and you can access some of these uh, uh, other previous videos if um, you haven't heard them. And you can, you know, tune into the videos. Uh, most of them are, you know, less than an hour long. The sound relationship one is probably the longest one because I go into great detail about uh, enhancing communication and emotional uh, connection in personal relationships. Uh, but in the meantime, 
uh, use uh, your awareness and your consciousness to just uh, create the intention to bring your energy and your sound and your signature frequency upward. And, uh, you know, I mentioned signature frequency. People ask me about that. Your signature frequency is just your personal matrix of sound that makes up your physical, emotional, mental, and spiritual body, the summation of it. It's held in your brain, but it's also revealed through your voice. Uh, many people aren't aware. Uh, <clears throat> the new physics shows us that, you know, the brain is the home office and that your real um, uh, awareness and kind of the uh, home office is the brain for your signature frequency. It's there. Your unique vibrational pattern matrix of frequencies is in your brain. But when many people don't understand is that it's easily revealed through your voice, that your voice, in addition to speaking and singing, and that's about all we, we think of the voice as communicating thoughts and feelings through language. And then if we add a musical element to it through singing or chanting, we can communicate in maybe perhaps a more creative and emotional fashion. But that's to the extent that we generally think of the voice. But the voice is also uh, a great tool for moving energy and for having a tantric experience and a sound healing experience when we enter the realm of regenerative sound that I talked about in the, uh, in the last video. Uh, and if there's time, I'll even, you know, demonstrate a little regenerative sound if we have time in this particular video. But following this video, I'm going to be uh, doing this teleseminar. So in about less than 30 minutes, I'll be on the phone and you can dial in <clears throat> from anywhere in the world. It's, it'll be at 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, 6 p.m. Central Standard Time, and 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And if you're not in the United States, you can still dial in, depending on your time zone, just adjust to the proper time zone. So it'll be going on, like I said, in less than 30 minutes. We'll be starting that. But in the meantime, I just want to complete uh, talking with you about these elements of consciousness and how to access your uh, sonic meditation that we do in our workshops and coming through the chakras. So we went through the chakras. Now I want to assign a particular vowel sound so you can do this chant with me. And this chant is simple. It's on my enchantment CD, which you can get on my website on the products page on wayneperry.com. But in the meantime, I'm going to show it to you, teach it to you right now. And we're going to start with the uh, first chakra, which is the, we're going to use the vowel sound of ah. Uh. And it's similar to ah, uh, but it's a little different. It's, it's ah. Uh. In other words, it's uh, like fun, sun, run. That's the sound of the ah uh sound for the first chakra. And so I'm going to give you the, the vowel sounds first, and then I'm going to teach you the chant that we can do with these uh, chakras. So the second, second chakra, sacral chakra, we're going to use the oo vowel, the sound oo. So as we go oo, uh, instead of u, that's like a diphthong with e and oo, we just want to do oo, the oo sound for the second chakra. And then for the third chakra, we're going to do the, uh, the vowel sound of o. Okay, so then we're going to, we've got a, uh, oo, o oh, so far. For the third chakra, the um, self and the uh, focus on your third chakra point, that's like willpower, self-discipline, third chakra points. Fourth chakra, uh, the switching station, the heart chakra, our healing center and center for love and compassion. We're going to use the ah uh, sound. And the ah uh, sound, this is one of the reasons why you see the names of God often have the ah sound. When we say God, we don't say God, we say God. It's an ah sound. Uh, and there's also other uh, appellations of God in other cultures, Ra, but they frequently use the ah sound when it relates to the spirit. So it's, uh, uh, it's our center chakra point for um, the heart chakra. We're going to use the ah sound in this particular chant. Then we're going to go to the fifth chakra which rules our communication and creativity and opening that center up. And we're going to use the A sound, the A vowel, for this part of the chant. Uh, so we've got A, U, 
O, A, A. And then for the sixth chakra, we're going to go to that third eye center, pineal gland focusing just above and behind the physical eyes. And we're going to focus on the, on the vowel sound of E. And, and we use the E sound that will focus our attention on the sixth chakra and building and strengthening our aspiration to our higher awareness, our intuition, and higher uh, consciousness. So for the sixth chakra, we're going to use the E sound. And we're going to also combine them together because the seventh chakra, when we do individual chakra toning or specific uh, chakra balancing with like what we're going to do this weekend in the workshop uh, Sunday, uh, the chakra toning experience, it becomes like a 15 minute exercise. We don't have time to do this whole exercise here today because it involves some breath work and involves spending more time at each chakra to learn it properly. So uh, perhaps we'll do that in a future presentation. But you can also access it on my book, Sound Medicine. Uh, you can access it and in my uh, instructional CDs. So there's all sorts of ways to get this uh, information, but I'm going to share it with you, at least the chakra chant portion of using these vowel sounds. So we've got a, u, o, a, a, e. So as we use these a, u, o, a, a, e, we're using these six um, vowel sounds to activate each chakra and putting it into this tantra mantra chakra chant, as I call it. So the melody goes, so you've got the sounds. I don't know if you wrote them down or you can remember them. Uh, again, it's a, u, o, a, a, e. When we put this in a chant for the, uh, to chant the chakras, it's a simple chant that you can do in, you know, maybe two or three minutes. If you spend two to three minutes doing this chant, it won't fully balance all the chakras. You really need to do the full chakra toning exercise that's in my, book and my CDs uh, or in the workshop, but um, this is going to be a good energizer. Like if you're driving and you get uh, a little stressed, you just want to keep your eyes open. If you do this at home, you can close your eyes and do this chakra chant and it's very empowering. It will really tune you in. It's sort of like a quick mini tune up when you don't have sufficient time to go through the 15 or 20 minute exercise of the chakra balancing and the sonic meditation that I recommend that you do after the chakra balancing. But for right now, this this is the doorway. This is sort of like the uh, threshold chant that will get you kind of in tune to go deeper in this work. So we're going to start at this and you can do it in the same octave that I'm doing it in. If you're female, your voice is higher. You can do it an octave higher, whatever is com comfortable for your voice. But the melody using these vowels, the melody of this chakra chant, chant mantra is I'll repeat Okay, I did that four times and so that's the way you want to do this chant. You want to do this. I'm going to pull back a little bit and see if you can use my hands to just focus a bit. Can't get the whole picture in here. But you just kind of put your hands at where the first chakra is, just kind of at the groin area there, as close as you can get to the base of the spine. From the front, it's hard to get to. But that's not so important. You just put your hands here where you do the uh sound. And then you go, ah, uh, oo, o, third chakra, the solar plexus, ah, a, e, and just practice that, ah, uh, oo, o, ah, a, e, get the melody and the progression, ah, uh, oo, o, ah, a, e, ah, uh, oo, o, ah, a, e. So you do, we did that four times. Now there's a little turnaround or a bridge here. And so as I do the bridge goes like this. And we use our hands because when we do this chant, 
We want to send it out to others. We want to send it to the people that need our support and help. It might be some members of your family. We can send it to these uh, people that are being oppressed politically, socially. Uh, so it's a great energy mover to tantrically send energy to anyone in your life or anybody in the world. And it helps to use your hands. To, it's best to stand up and do it. If I stand up, I'll be out of the frame, so I'm not going to do that. But, you know, you stand up and you use your hands and go, oh, ooh, oh. After four times, I'm going to go to the turnaround. Now, the turnaround. We send it out from the fifth chakra. And then bring it back to self. And then continue. Ah, we ah, ooh, oh, ah, ee. Ah, ooh, oh, ah, ee. And that's essentially the whole chakra chant. So you do four progressions and then the little two part turnaround and then you go right back to the main chant. So when we use our hands, there's energy in our fingertips and energy that we can send out. When we do hands-on healing, we use this energy. You don't need to use your hands. When you're doing sound, you can send the energy and sound through your voice, whether you're sending it to another person or sending it to yourself. You only need to use your voice. But it's helpful to engage all of your energy and all the senses, and it focuses the power chakrically, if there is such a word, <laughs> or tantrically, uh, when we do it together in a group. It's even more powerful. We do this in our workshops. Sometimes it's a morning meditation at the beginning of the workshop. Sometimes we do it at the end of the workshop. So we're again, we're going to send it out to anybody who needs the vibrational support. And again, I'm going to repeat the chant, the chakra chant, and tantra mantra chakra chant. Ah, ooh, oh, ah, ee. Ah, ooh, oh, ah, ee. Ah, ooh, oh, ah, ee. And the fourth one. Ah, ooh, oh, ah, ee. Now send it out from your fifth chakra. Ah, we, eh. Bring it back to ground yourself. Ah, we, oh. Ah, we, ah, ooh, oh, ah, ee. And just keep repeating four times. And then when we do the little turnaround, you're sending it out with the IEA is the heart, spirit, love, spirit, IEA coming from the fifth chakra. So we go IEA and send it out with intention to those you love, to those that need help. Students are being denied lunches by our new president. There's all sorts of things that you can send this energy to. Send it to food our kid, feed our kids, send it to help people in in Syria and other parts of the world. I don't want to get into any political discussion, but this is a simple chant and to use your tantric energy to send this energy out to whomever you choose to send it to. You can just keep it sent to your friends and family or just to yourself, but use this energy. I'm going to do this one more time. The chakra energy tantra mantra. Again, we're going to do the four chant uh, parts and then the turnaround. Again, I'll do repeat the turnaround because that would be less familiar with. The turnaround, we go, ah, e, a. So, ah and e, the heart and the soul sent through our fifth chakra. We send it out and then we bring it back to the self. It's always important to ground yourself and support yourself at the end. That's the third chakra. So, we go, Ah, we, a, ah, we, o, because o is the sound for the third chakra. Ah, we, o, and then back to the chant. Ah, we, ah, u, o, ah, e, e. We're going to continue. Ah, u, o, ah, e, e. Ah, u, o, ah, e, e. And the fourth one. Ah, u, o, ah, e, e. And then 
and send it out. Awi e, awi o, awi a u o a e e, and repeat. A u o a e e, a u o a e e, a u o a e e, and turn around, send it out. A we e. Bring it back. A we o and continue. A we a u o a e e. A u o a e e. Okay, I'm ending with some regenerative sound as I promised. I would try to sneak some in at the end there some harmonics and regenerative sound. In the meantime, please stay tuned, or I should say tune in, if you'd like to join our our um, teleseminar. It's free. You just have to call in. I'll give you the number. You can go to the website. If you want to ask me some questions or you want to respond to anything that I've covered or talked about in this uh, uh, Tantra Mantra chakra toning presentation, uh, you can do so by calling in the area code 641-715-3670. This isn't my office number or my own phone number. This is for the free teleseminar that's starting in about 12 minutes. You would call area code 641-715-3670. When you're connected, just dial in the free access code, which is 125496. Access code 125496. Okay, so if you want to join us and continue, if you have the time and the interest, join us by phone and the teleseminar, and you can ask any questions you like. Uh, I can give you information. We have our chakra toning workshop this Sunday at 1 p.m., in Los Angeles, if you're in the Southern California, Los Angeles area, please join us at 1 p.m. It's one of my most popular workshops and sound healing this Sunday at 1 p.m. It's only $75. And in lieu of that, you can also just tune in to the uh, CDs or books. You can um, access the Chakra Toning on my uh, Enchantment CD. It has the Chakra Chant. And then I have instructional CDs that have the chakra toning exercise. I believe it's on CD1, the ultimate healing instrument, the human voice. But you can check these things on my uh, products page of the website, wayneperry.com. And, uh, and you can call me anytime. You can join the mailing list, and I'll let you know about upcoming future events. Your email will never be given out to anybody else. It will be held privately by me. If you'd like to join our mailing list and get the, the new Peridime newsletter, I'll send you the new Peridime <laughs> newsletter uh, when that's available if you're on our email list. But in the meantime, let me give you that number one more time because we'll be starting in 10 minutes, the free sound healing teleseminar. You can go to wayneperry.com and it has the information, the call in number there. But to make it simpler and easier for you, I'm giving you the number. It's area code 641-715-3670. And you dial in the access code. The free access code is 125496. That's 125496. Thank you for giving me your attention for this short period of time here on Facebook Live. I'm going to leave you or take leave of your senses with a few more regenerative tones before I sign off. So thanks again. I hope to see you or hear you online for the teleseminar or the next video, which uh, I'm not sure when I'll be doing. Maybe, uh, maybe Saturday or Sunday. We'll see how it plays out. But stay tuned. And you, remember, you can always access the previous videos on my timeline on Facebook at Wayne Perry and just scroll down and the other five videos this is the sixth video that will be on my page Wayne Perry so once again thank you 
and I love you until we touch again. <laughs> Oh, oh, oh.